So I've been asked by several uh, people how to make the actual work coil for an induction heater. It's actually not that hard. You can make various sizes and shapes. The key, the, the problem is that when you bend copper pipe, which is pretty good, this is um, refrigeration uh, tubing, it's a quarter inch. You could also use the 3 8 inch if you want a thicker coil for higher currents. Um, gets harder to bend, but this uh, is still pretty malleable. Um, you use sand. Sand, and this is uh, just clean play sand, um, fills the inside, allows you to bend it around a form. In this case, I'm using a one and a quarter inch uh, PVC pipe, but again, for bigger coils, you can use two inch, two and a half inch. Um, if you want to make a levitation coil, that's a little trickier, um, but it's, it's the same process. So I'm going to cover this end with some uh, tape. Be careful how many times you bend the uh, tubing because it gets harder and harder to bend back um, each time you bend it. Now I'm going to start filling it with sand. It's a slow process. You get the sand, you tap it to get rid of the air pockets, and you keep tapping it and banging it until you know it's all filled. If you don't fill it completely, it's going to crimp when you bend it around the form. Just lightly bounce it, then fill it again. Once you think you got it filled, cover up both ends. Remember when you bend it around your form to give yourself enough length for your connections or whatever else you plan to do.
And then all you need to do is use an air compressor to blow the air out. And you're good. And this is how you make an induction coil. Now I'm just going to go and use some compressed air and just blow it out. And that's it. All the sand is blown out. Here's my coil. I'm going to hook up some uh, tubing to these ends here for uh, running water cooling. I've got almost six turns, probably five and a half, which is good. I've got a nice tight coil. Remember, the tighter your coil is to your workpiece, the greater the transfer of the uh, magnetic. Uh, um, uh, flux fields, the further, the, the larger the diameter of your work coil, you can put a bigger work piece, but you're going to need more power to get the same kind of energy transfer. Um, this is good for, you know, most small things, heating, annealing. Um, hope you uh, enjoyed this.